Hey everyone, I'm back with another video today. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded videos recently. I've just been quite busy at work. Today will not be a tutorial, it'll be a review on a program I made called the Android Recovery Emulator. Um, basically an emulator is something that imitates a feature or device or something like that. So, um, many of you are probably familiar with the Android operating system, um, flashing ROMs, recoveries, mods, themes, all that sort of stuff. This program allows you to imitate the installation of a zip file and output if any errors are going to occur during installation or um, anything of the sort, which could possibly be dangerous to your device. What you see on the left here is a supported syntax. Um, <coughs> Basically, this syntax is a list of um, commands inside the updater script that direct the update binary to do something to the zip file, where to extract it, to run what, to mount what, all that sort of stuff. So you can just check out the list. Um, feel free to pause the video, but I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of flashing a successful zip file. This is a, um, a unofficial Lineage OS for the Galaxy S4. This will successfully flash. You can see the difference. Um, you notice it might take like maybe a couple seconds, maybe 10, 15 seconds to um, check the package. Uh, this program operates on something called a virtual device. Yeah, as you can see um, here, C. All these lines, for example, finding update package, opening update package, target, progress, um, patching system image unconditionally, they're all um, UR print syntax. So it actually passes the syntax from the zip file onto the program. So it's exactly how the installer would like display it. As I was saying, this program operates something I call a virtual device. Basically, it's just a list of directories and um, it's basically a file system that imitates a device for the emulator. Um, it unpacks, it actually unpacks it into the correct places, for example, system, uh, unit D, all that sort of stuff. So it, it actually unpack, unpacks it into the virtual device. Now I will show you an example of an unsuccessful flash. This is a pre-made zip package with a couple errors I put inside there. You'll notice the difference. There's a difference. It, it tells you possible errors or actual errors. A possible error is an error um, found inside the updater script because the file is not embedded inside the zip file. If the file was embedded, it would not throw an error. If, um, if the, for example, the file was in um, in data and the data partition was said to be wiped and it wasn't a zip file it'll show up uh, an actual error um, over here you'll see the number six seven eight and so on up to 20. those are the line numbers the errors um, occurred on and notice down here it'll say install from local storage failed with possible errors so it'll tell you if it failed with errors or failed with possible errors or succeeded so that's basically it for today guys, um, that's just a quick review on my new program, hope you all enjoy it, thanks.